All right, we're back, and this should be the last segment of this 12-hour stream. We're continuing on with um, Shinada's arc in, um, in Yakuza 5. We're just doing all the sub-stories right now, which we got. Okay, um, practice batting. Yeah, let's get all these out of the way. Better wanted to be former pro pitcher. Oh, excuse me. May we have a word with you? Oh, it's the outlaws. You didn't mean me, right? So, my friend, um, the er, minus two degrees, or the two below, um, is also one he goes, uh, another handle he goes under. Uh, he's an Orioles fan. So this is why this is funny. We do if you're the guy from Cotest Sun's vlog. We need an ace in the hole and fast. Our team is in dire straits, you see. We're wondering if we can get your help. Wait, come again? Who are you guys, anyway? We're from the local Sandlot team. We've always had no problem playing at the public park, but about a year ago, some hooligans showed up and started kicking us out. You serious? Yes, we made proper bookings through City Hall. They just strut around punching and kicking until we give up the field. Dang, that sucks. Can you take it up with City Hall? We thought of that, but we don't make up for all our pain and humiliation. So we decided to settle this ourselves and challenge their gang to a game. We made the promise to never hijack the grounds from us if we beat them. That's an interesting solution. So when's that game going down? Thing is, it's on right now. Whoa, that was fast! <sighs> yes, and we're losing by a run. Did I, did, and did I mention it's already the ninth inning? Oh dear, at this rate, they're going to pound us into the dirt. Please, can you go up to bat for us? No oh, thanks. You guys challenged him fair and square. If I just showed up out of nowhere, that wouldn't be right now, would it? That's true, but they brought in a hired gun too, and he's a former pro. They did? Okay, now that's just dirty. That's why we thought it'd be okay for us to have a helper too. Well, it certainly would even the odds. Our asking is for a little help. Even at one at bat will do. We even pay you for your trouble. Oh, all right, just one at bat then. Arigato. Sweet deal. Let's get over there. Strike. <laughs> That's two outs. One more to go. That's the difference a former pro makes. You're, you're smoking him, Esaka san. <laughs> what do you expect? They ain't sh shit shutting down these weaklings. But damn, a few clowns would have scored more runs. I wouldn't even need to try. You're all a bunch of amateurs. <laughs> well, I apologize for that. I'll make sure to pay you good, though. Now sweeten the deal with a little honey. There's a little babe who wants a piece of this. I'll slide her your way. I like how you seal a deal. <laughs> Let's get her done. Hold it right there. Time. Time. We have a pinch hitter. Huh? Who's this guy? Now then, remind me of our situation. Bottom of the ninth, two outs, no runners. We're losing one to nothing. So a home run ties the game. Got it. Hey, I'm asking who you are over there. Oh, uh, just a batter who happened on by. I can't say I like the idea of a former pro waving his dick around in the sandlot play. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a personal problem. Besides, what's wrong with getting paid and getting laid? That's about as good as it gets. Yeah, yeah, get off the mound already. This isn't about us. It's their game. Get a load of this goody two-shoes. Alright. If you get a hit off me, I'll see myself out. <laughs> That'll never happen. Ha 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 ha. I'm gonna hold you to that, I hope you know. Now bring it! Oh, I'll show you just how out of your league you are. And you're gonna go eat. One at bat, one home run. So it has to be a home run. Eat this, punk! Yeah. Yeah. Got it. See it. <laughs> if there were actually foul poles there, that would that probably would have been a bong dong. That's crazy. How could this happen? I used to be a pro. Well, that's that. 
Now let them finish their game. Or are you the type to go back on the, their word? Ah, fine. Whoa, we're tied, and the hired gun is leaving the game too. We have a chance at winning. Yep, the Miller has been dealt with. Now it's a fair fight, so it's up to you to take this thing home. You bet we will. Oh, before we go, please accept this as thanks. Hunger belt. I feel like we're going to win this for sure. All right, team, this is our moment. We take the diamond back once for and for all. Yeah, Santa that ball's supposed to be a fun thing. Go for it, guys. Okay. My phone! <laughs> <laughs> Got you again! You! Give me back my phone! Yeah, right. You really think I'm gonna just hand it over? Let me guess. You wanna challenge me again? So. Yep, and this time you'll need a miracle to hit it. Why do you have to be such a rotten rascal? Can't you just ask me to bat against you? Don't go talking down to me just cause you're a grown up. If you can't hit my pitch, I'm keeping this janky old phone. What is your problem, kid? Don't think you can blackmail me into doing whatever you want. Aw, oh, you don't want a bat? Okay, I'll just have to ma make a bunch of international calls on your phone then. Where should I start first? Wait, no, don't do that! Do you have an idea how expensive that gets? Fine, I'll take you on. I'll even say please. <laughs> Good answer. Okay then, we the same rules as last time. You get three hits out of ten pitches, you win. Alright, so what's your miracle pitch this time? Another curveball? A slider? Mm -hmm. Nope. Let's not spoil the fun. You ready to go? And you're gonna go eat! Miracle time! Toma Fork Mark 9? Oh, oh god, ah, oh, this sucks. Hey kid, Kenta, right? Which little league do you play for? Why, what's it to ya? Never seen a kid throw a fork ball with that kind of dip. Must have some crazy coach. Mm. Yeah, well, take me to your coach right now. I need to chew this guy out and fast. Huh? Why? Your coach is insane for letting a kid throw pitches like those. It's making you wreck your shoulder. <laughs> no way, seriously? Common knowledge for young players. What's your coach thinking? Take me to him right now. Why are you so mad? It's not your business anyway. I'm concerned about your condition. I don't want you ending up out of the game for good. You mean you're worried about me? Yeah, so tell me where your, who your coach is. He needs a good long lecture. I don't have one. How's that possible? Look, I'm not with any team. I don't play for anyone. You sure about that? Okay, I have to go now. Bye. Yo, awesome batter, dude. Oh, if it isn't Kotetsu the blogger, what's up? Just ran to your nephew at the door. He said to give you these. That's your phone and reward for hitting his miracle pitch. Collateral damage. OK, 
Okay, that's actually useful. Okay, hmm? thanks. Something happened? The kid was crying. Let's just say he's going through something complicated. What do you mean? He's your nephew, right? But on second thought, it's cool. Should be going around prying into other people's business. Okay. Like you're training hard. What team are you on? I'm a freshman at Kine High. I always wanted to practice against a pitching machine, but I can't afford it. Huh. As much as I like to treat you two around, I don't have any spare cash either. Then allow me to do the honors. Oh, hey, the guy with the blog. Oh, what's up, Kotetsu? You know each other? I'm actually a Kine High grad. I was on their baseball team, too. Kid's Mikasa kun. He's a freshman with big hopes on him. He's already batting leadoff. How'd you like to square off against him? And just how you suggest I go about doing that? Base it on batting average. You go up against the same pitching machine for 10 throws each. Whoever gets the most hits wins. From what I hear, Mikasa Kun is an on base percent has an on base percentage out of this world. I think it could be a good match. Also, you can blog about it? <laughs> what? I see you no harm in that. I am paying for the both of you. But my offer is null and void if you don't play, though. Could I ask you to play too? Going against a machine sure would be a, not, a lot nicer than swinging around my bat all day. And I just realized, you're that awesome batter Kotetsu-san writes about on his blog. I'd love to watch and learn from seeing you bat. Man, it's pretty flattening to hear in this day and age. How can I say no? Good, so it's on. Let's have mikasa go first. Ten pitches, then? By the way, mikasa -kun, what's your usual batting average? A little over 500. I think it's a pitching machine. I should do even better. Kine High Pride's on the line. Or Kine High's Pride is on the line. Don't you go losing now. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. Whew, seven hits. Thought I could do better. So I got to hit at least eight to win? Yep, if it's a draw, Mikasa gets the win. Is that okay with you? Sure, whatever. I mean, what's in it for me if I win? Yeah. Nothing. Of course, if you were to lose, the news will be broadcast all over the world from my blog. <laughs> I get it, and I better not screw up. Okay, he needs, I need to get eight. Home 
punch here. something else you really are an amazing batter yep got an eye for these things after all <laughs> you're so full of it full of win I think you mean anyway I have to write this up so got a jet he really is obsessed with that vlog maze isn't he maybe because he found a really awesome batter just seeing you put in work out there I know I need to train a lot harder gee you're dedicated wait a second didn't Kine High do pretty good at fall regionals a little while ago yeah we have a pretty good shot of making it's a cushion for the spring nationals. That's why I've been going at it so hard. Oh yeah, the spring nationals. This would be announced at the end of the next month when the team selections are announced. Yep, our teachers are saying we should have a good team going in. As long as there's no hip cups, you basically have it in the bag. Oh, sorry, it's my phone. Hello? It's me, Kappa. Oh, Koichi? Yeah, uh-huh. What? Why the heck? Are you serious? Sounds like trouble. Okay, I got it. The parking lot and go Shiki Street. I'm on my way. What's up? Anything the matter? No, nothing. Sorry, I have to go. I'm sorry, I have to go. Doesn't seem like nothing. It was in the parking lot and go Shiki Street, right? Better go see what's going on. gonna do dude if we don't do something our guys are gonna get it for sure how did they get into this mess in the first place I just went out with some girls it turns out one of them was the girlfriend of gang leader and he found out what are they thinking at a time like this oh damn he's pulling out a bat crap you little shit you banged me sato didn't you be honest now yeah i didn't honestly nothing like that ever happened you lying fuck me sato told me the whole story don't try to weasel your way out of this. Look, I didn't know she had a boyfriend. I'm sorry, really. You're the baseball team's ace, aren't you? I'm busting your hand for what you did. Bet it felt good squeezing me Sato's titties. No, please not that. Anything but that. We have to stop them. We can't take that many on. Besides, we're screwed either way. They found out we were fighting. But we banned from Koshien. Then we don't fight. We have to save our guys. Stop, please, no more. Don't do this to them. Mikasa? Who the fuck are you? Please, just let our teammates go. They said they're sorry. A little late for sorry, asshole. Should have mind your own damn business. <laughs> uh, my arm! Dude, are you alright? <laughs> I know all about you, little schoolboys. You involved in any violence and kiss your cushy and dreams goodbye. So you can't take a swing at us and you can't even call the cops because you don't want the attention. <laughs> Meaning we can do whatever you want and you bitches have to suck it up and take it. Hey, you guys need to stop, now. It's you. How's that army, Kasakun? I, I don't know. Get lost, geezer. You feel like getting your ass kicked too? Not in particular, but I don't like what I'm seeing here. I used to play high school ball myself. Then fuck you too, so that's all fault for missing with my girl and that gives you the right to beat on them I don't think so that's it I gave you a chance to walk away now you're gonna get shit kicked with the rest of them
Okay, we got it. We won't mess with Kine's team again. Let us go. Oh man, you really saved our hides just now. Mikasa-kun, you need to see a doctor now. If there's any bone damage, you might not heal up in time for Koshien. Okay, I will. So it turns out my arm will be just fine. The doctor said there wasn't any bone damage. All I have to do is rest up for a while, and I can go back to playing. That's great to hear. You had me pretty worried. If you hadn't come by, don't think about how it would have ended. I seriously can't thank you enough. <laughs> well, when you get healthy enough to hold the bat again, you should come back. We need to train for those nationals, right? You need to. Will you let me challenge you again? Sure, whenever you like. Oh, by the way, my teammates gave me something for you. They thought you should have this. those boys had enough partying with random girls? I'd hope so. I said they better concentrate on training like never before. How about that? Maybe all this worked out for the best. I'll expect big things from you in the spring. I'll be sure not to let you down. Thank you again. Take your son. Love the batting center shell. What's that now? Hey, do you know anything about this batting center challenger? What, you didn't hear? He's basically the batting center equivalent of a dojo breaker. That was a martial arts expert who goes around challenging dojo masters. How the heck does that work? From what I gather, he goes around to batting centers and, and challenges their best batters to a five pitch duel. If the batter loses or refuses the challenge, the guy takes the batting center's sign as his trophy. Wow, sounds nuts. I hereby challenge this batting center! Whoa! Speak of the devil. Could it be? Indeed it is! For I'm none other than the batting center challenger feared throughout KNHO. The most supreme slugger of this here baseball whacking establishment shall announce himself now. Well, no one? Yellow belly cowards. And I shall take this batting center sign as my own. Hey, over here, this guy's the best slugger you'll ever see. Hey, don't just volunteer me. It'll be fine. Plus, the whole world wants you to see the shutdown, or the showdown just as much as I do. You conniving little. <laughs> ah, so it is you. <laughs> then accept my challenge, or else I sh will stalk you to the for the rest of your life. That is gross and that is weird, but I'll do it. Happy now? Very. I prefer to challenge men of reason anyway. Well then, this is how our showdown will be. I shall throw a total of five pitches. Hit even one and you will be triumphant. But if you miss them all, or I hit you with a baseball, then victory is mine. Without further ado, let the duel commence! Challenger, you're incredible. Well, what's done is done. There's no use denying it. Hey, you throw real good. I'm actually impressed. Tell me, what's the reason behind this whole Challenger thing? Yep. Just so, it's so I can become a better pitcher. I want to take on our nation's greatest batters and perfect my craft. I never expected to be beating my random straighter in a backwater town such as this. It's clear that I require more training. 
As such, I shall be returning to the wilderness to train. Back to basics, so, so to speak. Is that really necessary? As my parting gift, I shall leave you with this. It's for our most excellent duel. Yeah, my thanks. Sturdy Katana. Oh, yes! Okay, you know what? I'm switching out the pole. Dirty katana. Or sturdy um, pipe, I mean. Okay, there's more. Now we're gonna continue batting. To Shinata. Shinata, I'm looking forward to seeing you. Is it, it's for me? I wonder who left this. There's no retry. I should have saved first. Well, if it isn't Shinata himself. Huh? It's been a while, hasn't it? You remember me, don't you? Wait, Ashida-san? Heh, <laughs> glad you didn't forget. After all these years, too. I could never! Anyway, what brings you here? My son found a photo of you online. And it led to a popular baseball blog. After reading up on it, I learned I might run into you here. Must be Kotetsu's blog. <laughs> the internet's mighty useful, isn't it? Ashida-san, are you still a batting pitcher with the Wyverns? Yep. No, I gave that up. I'm past 50 now. How about you? Growing old gracefully? Well, I'm growing old at least. I pitched to you for the four years you were on the farm. Any of that still fresh in your head? Of course, I pretty much learned how to bat from your pitching. You believed in me a lot more than our batting coach did. Well, I'm glad you're still active. Whoever made that website I mentioned keeps ranting and raving about you. That's just him frothing in the mouth. All I do is come here for a little practice. <laughs> Better have your caliber loose among the crowd? No wonder you gained a reputation. Either way, it's good to see you haven't lost your passion for the game. <laughs> you think? Wish I could agree with confidence. I wish I could agree with confidence. That's so, uh huh? In my case, I still have regrets. You do? Hmm. In spite of just being a batting pitcher, I love my career with the Wyverns. <laughs> Due to my age, I thought my body was telling me to retire. When I saw you slugging away on that blog, I realized how much I missed the game. I'm saying I want to get back to pitching for a living, to get back into the league, educate young players, and help them grow. Old fogey that I am, I must have something left to contribute. Okay, then why'd you come see me? I came to you for help, Shinata. I want you to gauge whether I still have what it takes to do my job. And you want me for that? Of course I do. A batting pitcher's got to pitch in a way that batters can hit, which is surprisingly difficult. It takes even more control than a major league knuckleballer. Your role is in this is to help batters gain confidence as they overcome whatever pitches they find challenging. Yeah, and I'm living proof. I got off the farm thanks to you. Took me sure took me long enough. Then will you help me? It won't take much. Should be a one and done job. What would you like me to do? I'm gonna take them out for ten pitches. All you need to do is hit them. So it's a 10 pitch duel then. Yes and no. I'm, I'm pitching to let you hit, not get you out. That's my job as a batting pitcher. But if I can't hit anything, then I'll take it as a time that I've worn out my welcome as a batting pitcher. I'll draw the curtains on my career and never pitch again. Whoa, you're really gonna make that huge decision on 10 pitches? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's all riding on you, Shinata. But you know I retired a long time ago. Your pitching is good. What if I totally suck? my job to determine the batter's ability and throw what they can hit. If I can't do that, I'm no longer useful. I mean, I see your point, but look, it's you who made me regret leaving the game, so I'm holding you accountable. Hey. If that's how it is, then okay, pitch me up. Good. This is what we'll do. I'll throw ten pitches, and if I have any hope of resuming my career, I should be able to hit at least eight of them. Eight out of ten? That's a pretty tall order. Yep. Like I said, I'm not trying to get you out. I'm throwing to let you hit. There's nothing challenging about it. To the cage you go, Shinata. Come on, this this should be fun for you. What an odd challenge. We have to hit these for Ashida-san's sake. I'm thinking copious use of the um of the heat eyes. Is, is <laughs> Alright, get ready!
Shida san, still have your control. <laughs> Thanks, Shinata. <laughs> it's an odd thing having a batter pump the confidence of the, of the pitcher. Can't say I've ever done that before. Of course, there's no guarantee the team will ever be or even be interested in rehiring me. But you gave me the confidence to try. So thanks to you, Shinata. This is a token of my appreciation. Accept it if you would. Thirty thousand yen. <laughs> your batting hasn't eroded one bit. I think you could still make it in the pros today. You could even take Sawada if you wanted. <laughs> Remember, I'm banned from the big leagues for life. Appreciate the compliment, though. Yeah, well, I don't care what the others say. I never doubted your innocence in, in the least. You never steal a sign. That homer was all you. I threw to you for four years. I know what you can do. You were the only person who ever vouched for me, back then and even now. Yep. But I had no influence. I couldn't save you. Sorry, I'm sure you didn't want to hear that now. It's okay, Ashida-san. You're the exception. <laughs> Thanks, Shinata. Uh, it was good to see you again after all this time. Take care. Yeah, you too. Two thousand for that. Pitch kid Kenta. Yes, he's up or he'll hurt himself. My trump card. Yeah. Wait a minute. This must mean. <laughs> gotcha times three. I knew it was you. All right, Kenta. What'd you swipe this time? No, it couldn't be. It's gone. My massage parlor coupon. How am I supposed to get my ham handle for half off? Huh? I don't know what that is, but it sounds important. A ticket to the land of dreams of for any man. But you're too young. Give it back. If you want this back, you really need me to explain the rest? No, I guess not. You want to challenge me with another of your miracle pitches, right? So. You got it. Okay, then, to the batting cage. I'll be hitting my miracle pitch today. Wait a second. You're still throwing those crazy baking balls? Didn't I tell you? A kid like you shouldn't be throwing those. Uh, wait till you finish growing. You can really wreck yourself. Oh. Yeah, yeah, fine. Besides, I said miracle pitch. Didn't say anything about a breaking ball. Oh, is that so? Yep, today I'll be throwing a fastball. Since you're such a party pooper, you can throw it like a kid. Can you handle that, mister? Sure you can. Okay, okay. Well, now we're talking about a little kid's fastball. Where's the miracle in that? Oh. How about waiting till you see me throw? Because this is my trump card. Yours are the same as before. If you can get three hits out of ten pitches, you win. Okay, ten pitches, three hits. Miracle time! Not to 
Did I mention that my character is still drunk? No, even my disappearing panty flash mark 12 got whacked into oblivion. What? Why are you calling it that? It's true, the ball seem, did seem to flicker out of view. This kid's a freak. I can't do this. I can't think of any more miracle pitches that would get you. Say, Kenta, you mentioned you were in with a team. Why is that? Because even if I join a team, there won't be anyone who can hit my stuff. It'll be boring. You sure about that? Bet you actually wish you had other kids to play with. That's what made you cry before, right? What am I supposed to do? I keep moving around and I'm always at some new school. I can never make any friends. That's why it's easier to be by myself. Even if I join a team, it's not going to work out. I know it. I was that way too, you know? I didn't have many friends either. This sure was scary joining a team for the first time. <coughs> really? Even for a big guy like you? Yeah, to be honest. Still have plenty of trouble after joining the team too. Getting along with people is always going to be tricky. Getting in any fights? All the time. Had lots of bad experiences too. But you know what? Chasing after a ball with all your teammates is more fun than you think. It is? You bet. That's the best part of baseball, the team aspect. At least I think so. Come on, try joining a team, alright? But do you think I really I can really make it? Sure you can. In a team, the people who put in an honest effort earn their greatest respect. Besides, you throw some ridiculous pitches. And I mean that in a good way. Be confident, okay? Alright, yeah, I'll do it. But remember, go easy on breaking balls. Those only rip your joints straight out of their sockets. Arigato. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. And thanks for everything. Here, you can have this. Semino Royale. Done it. Bye, see ya. Oh, wait a second, listen. Where's that coupon you took? Oh, the paper thing? I think I lost it somewhere. Ah, oh, come on! There's no way to repay a favor. What'd you do with my dream ticket? Woohoo! Look at what I got myself here! Didn't expect to find one of these babies at a batting center! What? Hey, that's mine! <laughs> Half off! What a bargain! No time to waste! Uh, oh. Uh, I gotta switch controllers. To the red lights of Kinecho I go! Okay, so we unplug blue, or we charge blue, and switch to the white controller. Charge blue. I'll play with white. Okay, half off. What a bargain! No ten. Oh, yeah, I already said that. Hey, don't just leave me hanging. My ticket to the land where dreams come true. I don't know what that was, but you're a big guy. Want to become a pro? I'll get you those coupons by the stack. Just wait. <laughs> okay, fair enough. That's something else to dream about. Another level up. We're doing very well with Shinata. Pretty much max on his range. Okay, uh, what do we need? I could use that. I'm at level 16. Okay, so I have just these missions left. One, two, three, four main missions. Okay, I'll, um, I'll go ahead and save and then come back. The fact that there's no, um, yeah, the fact that there's no, uh, let's actually take the timing on light. Yeah, the 
fact that there's no uh, 15th side quest here um, makes me think that the the other one's a Kamarocho. Almost as much of a tank as um, as uh, as Saijima. Yeah, I hadn't saved in an hour forty. Okay. Just got a little bit left. New machine. One forty five. One hundred forty five kil kilometer an hour pitching machine? Ah, damn. Let's see here. Max throwing velocity of 145 kilometers per hour. Hit five home runs out of ten pitches to win a super deluxe prize. What's the super deluxe prize? Guess I'll just have to find out. I knew he'd bite Shinada. Whoa! What are you doing back here? Can't you tell? Akamatsu threw at 150 kilometers an hour. If you can think you can hit that, 145 should be easy, right? Well, yeah, I guess. Prove it to me, Shinada. Five home runs out of ten pitches. I'm sure you can pull that off. You're testing me again like you did with that cheater? Fine, I got nothing to hide. I'm not doing this for you, though. I'm doing this for the Super Deluxe Prize. I don't care about your motive. Just get on with it. I'll be watching. There, you see that Shitakawa? You happy now? Yeah, yeah, here's your super deluxe prize. Italian scarf. How the heck am I supposed to do with this? That's entirely up to you. All I know is that you fulfilled my end of the bargain. Can't have a contest without a prize, right? Wait, don't tell me you paid for this yourself. Did you reserve that pitching machine too? <laughs> uh, I sure did. Now I know I can take you on directly without debating over whether I'm wasting my time. After all, even if I do rep Replicate Akamatsu's pitching. It would be futile if your game's rusting away. Yeah, but can you really imitate Akamatsu's pitching with your bum shoulder? That machine was nothing compared to him. Oh, it won't be a repeat of our last duel. I could almost stake my life on it. You're really dead set on this, aren't you? You won't have to make it much longer. Soon, I'll be ready for you. Be seeing you around, Shinetta. What's he got up his sleeve? A cybernetic arm? Hope he doesn't pull some kind of crazy stunt. 1500. Okay. Okay, keep batting. Usually it's wanted. Though 
Pokemon's leads and baseball related stories. Maybe a reporter from Sports Magazine. Hey, Buckaroo, you got a minute? Uh, can I help you? You can if you're Tatsu Oshinata, the former Wyvern. That is you, right? Who's asking? I'm Asada, a, a reporter with Kine Sports. Alright, so what? You hitting me up for some kind of interview? Of sorts. You're familiar with Kudasaki san, right? He told me I could find you here. So he's the one who sent you. Sorry, my schedule's full today. And tomorrow, and the next day, and forever. I want nothing to do with either of you. Ooh, that's cold. Frosty, even. I thought you'd be happy to help another journalist, especially after putting out nothing but nightlife sleaze. Hey, man, respect the craft. My interviews take long hours and hard work. Even if they do end on a happy note. Oh no, I was only trying to break the ice. I'm the sleaziest guy I know. Maybe I should have started with a ba my background. See, I was also with the Wyverns for a time. You were? Yeah, I joined you after you retired. Never made it off the farm, though. Couldn't even last two years before calling it, calling it quits. So, you'd be our senpai as far as I'm concerned. You're not showing much respect to a senpai. But I that during my time with the Wyverns, I heard a lot of nasty things about you. Your science team cost us a lot of fans. <laughs> I'm sure you heard a mouthful, or earful, whatever. You see, our paper's doing a feature on baseball's waning popularity. I figured I'd backtrack a bit and see where it started. And of course, I can't do that without you. Your sign stealing is what brought match fixing under public scrutiny. That debacle pr drove a lot of fans from the game itself. Wow, you really think that makes me want to talk to you? Huh, Kurosaki sure knows how to pick them. Let me put it as plainly as I can. You're not getting an interview, and I don't want to see your face ever again. Oh, come on. The statute of limitations has run out, hasn't it? Just admit you stole signs and get over it already. Now tell me, how much did you get for betraying the sport? Didn't, don't you feel any remorse? The manager was in on it, wasn't he? That's the sort of juicy news our readers love. We'll pay good money for every tidbit you tell us, okay? Oh, you're ignoring me now? Still hanging on to your tattered sense of pride? Alright then. Why don't we sell this on the diamond? Say what? I was once a pitch. Come on, I was once a pitcher in a wyvern. If you can get past me, I'll give up on that interview. And rest assured, you'll never see me again. That's a negative. Win or lose, I have nothing to say to the press. <laughs> Fine by me. You're not willing to give me the time of day, anyhow. Besides, we're both former pros. I think I can learn a lot more from pitching against you than hearing you talk. You think you're that special, huh? Okay, say I do win. You really be gone? Get gone for good? Yep, it do. I don't need to say it twice, do I? Here's the deal. I'm gonna throw out ten pitches, make five of those home runs, and I'll be out of your life faster than you can sing Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Only ten pitches? You must be out of practice if that's all you can throw at me. Hey, I've been retired for years. Take the before these ten throws, I'll be as good as I can as I was back in my heyday. You can count on that. So five homers out of ten. I might need a heat eye for some of this. Let's see how cool about this one. Huh. Who 
would have thunk it? Two former wyverns duking it out of a stinky little batting cage. Both of us having descended into lowly newsmongers, no less. At least people care about my news. Now, will you quit pestering me? Yeah, I suppose that was the deal. Fine, consider me a stranger. Oh, first, I guess I owe you an interview for you. 10,000 yen. What's this for? I gave you no such interview. You're right. You gave me something better. I can clearly see your batting hasn't rotted away. You still have what it takes to be in the pros. Even after all these years, you still kept practicing your swing in spite of a permanent ban. That's some dedication. Practice and hope of making a comeback someday. You wouldn't bother to do that unless you're truly innocent. And because you know that in your heart, you have the resolve to press on. You're convinced your innocence will be proven one day. Correct me if I'm wrong. What did you say your name was? Asada? i say you'd have more talent with a pen than a ball. It's quite the compelling narrative. I guess I'll take that as a compliment. It doesn't make me happy one bit. No, I'm sure it doesn't. Hence why I said it. <laughs> You're a cruel man, Shinata. Hey, Asada-san, don't tell me you're taking his side now. What the hell is going on? Why can't anyone keep a grudge against this jackass? Kurosaki, why are you still holding on to yours? Sorry to disappoint, but I write for a small gossip paper. Our readers are hardly sophisticated enough to understand the tear-jerking redemption of a fallen hero. Still, he did provide me with a lead. I'd be happy to spot you for a coffee break, at least. What was that? Now, if you'll excuse me, Kurosaki-san... I hope you'll give my readers something they can actually chew on next time. Little shithead. Well, I'm out of here too. So I'm sick of you creeping up on me. Oh, and Kurosaki, wise up, man. You can't be pulling people's strings forever. It's gonna snap right back at you. Mind your own goddamn business. If you only knew... again. What a surprise. Are you, what are you scheming this time? Quit yapping and come with me. Yeah, no thanks. Why would I do that? I got enough problems already. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a coward then? Don't worry, I won't lay a finger on you, I swear. Yeah? Then what are you planning? Come with me and see your for yourself. Alright, might as well see what he wants, at least for old time's sake. back memories, don't it? Of course, I was always a backup in high school. Never got to pitch a game. That's right, you were a pitcher, too. When it came to raw power, I thought you outclassed even Shitakawa. He was the best of the best. But high school ball is about winning tournaments. No coach would rely on pitcher who would melt down on walks. Didn't matter how hard I threw. The pitchers who got to play were guys like Shitakawa. Guys with good control. Yeah, I guess. In the summer of our senior year, when we finally made it to Koshien, our team got a lot of attention. You especially, since you've had a clean up. I had to watch you guys in the spotlight from the shadows right nearby. It made all the more pathetic, being so close to the light. I had to cheer for you guys in the, on the field in a game I wouldn't get to play, up in the stands with everyone else in far right Koshien. Did I go through the, all that tough training just so I could make you guys look good? That was always gnawing at my soul. After spending my teens in sweat and grime, I ended up with nothing. It didn't take me long for me to hate baseball. Felt like I wasted my youth. What are you trying to say, Kurosaki? Are you blaming us for the way your life turned out? Get in the batter's box, Shinata. I'm pitching against your batting. That's how we'll settle the score. What are you trying to prove? That we're not so different, you and I. Whatever happened in the past be damned. I'm not the only one to be ruined by baseball. You got tarred and feathered by the pros. You should loathe baseball just as much as I do. Speak for yourself. Oh, right. You're the one in the spotlight shadow now. You might be desperate to forget that, but I'll make you remember. Fine. I'll show you we're nothing alike. Hey! Huh. 
Just have the big leaves spot a big titty bag. It's certainly self-sufficient that I cut the cheddar and pinch for the sake. This is the last time I'm putting up with you. Shinada, I lost fair and square. You won't be seeing me again either. I'm skipping town. What? Why? To be honest, my broker business was screwed a long time ago. It's like everything else for me. It all turns to shit. Worse yet, I get too aggressive and end up drawing attention from me some Yakuza. So I have to disappear before they do it for me. Well, you brought all this all on yourself. Don't look at me for sympathy. I know that. I was planning to get out of the business anyway. You move the you just move the timing up a little is all. Hey, Kurosaki, why didn't you cut and run already? Why bother coming to me for this? So I can finally be rid of baseball for good. I despise it all this time. I wanted to be done with it properly, that's all. Quit lying, man. Lying? You lost me there. Look, no one who hates baseball could ever pitch like that. Even after high school, you kept working out of throw, didn't you? Why would you lie to yourself just to hide the pain? It only gets worse that way. Maybe you have a point. Take this, for your trouble. Gambler's answer. Look after Shitakawa, will you? He's just like me, stuck in the past, unable to move on with his life. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, looks like our team was full of problem kids. Give it up for old West Kamuro. Shitakawa, there's that score to settle to. We're almost done. We're almost at max stats for everything. I mean, we pretty much got it. And I'm still doing all this while slightly drunk. Final duel. It's a message to me. It's written by... Yeah, Shinokawa. No doubt about it. There he is. Took you long enough. Keep popping out of nowhere, don't you? I sure do. Now today we settle the score. Follow me. Can you really replicate Akamatsu's pitching, though? Have you consulted with your shoulder first? Stop with the shoulder talk and come with me, alright? We'll talk when we're there. Fine, have it your way. Kurosaki here, didn't you? Huh? He actually told you? He asked me to look after you, you know. <laughs> what could he possibly ask you to do? Atone for your 20-year-old crime? For robbing me of baseball so you can satisfy your pride? You won't listen to anything I say, will you? Not until I hit the Akamatsu pitch. Or hit an Akamatsu pitch. Though I doubt you can throw one in this state. Your shoulder's messed up, man. Blown, torn, injured. How many ways must I say it? I admit, my left shoulder will never be the same, but I still have my right shoulder. You're gonna throw right? What are you thinking? It's no way you beat me with an overnight conversion. It's not an overnight conversion. I switched to throwing right after I saw you hit that homer on a stolen sign. What? Ever since that game, I thought about when this day would come. I'm determined to prove you'd betrayed me. But I gradually stopped training. I couldn't fully commit when I didn't know or where or how I'd find you. When you beat me the first time, that little fire under my ass, so I could replicate Akamatsu's pitching for one final duel. I see. 
the stage is finally set. Think back, Shinata. Remember exactly how it was. The regional tournament final 20 years ago. Bottom of the ninth in a scoreless tie. Two outs. Runner on second and third. On the mound is Akamatsu, the tournament's top pitcher. Now this is showdown music. Get in the box, Shinata! Shitakawa, you convinced yet? Well, are you? Yeah, there's no two ways about it. Not after that. You're batting seriously something else. But I think I knew that a long time ago. I just couldn't force myself to admit it. What do you mean? When you, my former teammate, were accused of sign stealing, I thought you were a fraud. A fake. A dirty cheat. A wannabe pro grasping for fame he didn't deserve. When I thought of you like that, it made sense why you took that wild swing. You challenged Akamatsu just to earn more respect. That selfishness robbed me of baseball. Those kinds of thoughts consumed me. My hatred of you kept growing. Snowballing. But now I understand. You're the real thing, too. A true professional player. Not the kind of guy who put himself before the team. That homer you hit as a wyvern. You really didn't cheat, did you? Damn yeah, right I didn't. When it comes to baseball, Pure as a puppy. Not even a drop of guile in me. <laughs> I suppose that's one way to put it. <laughs> Come on, man. Have some faith in your old teammate. Faith. Now, that's a word you don't hear much these days. But you know what? You're right. I guess I didn't trust my teammates back then. Not really. My left shoulder was shredded from overuse, but I never told anyone. Not the coach, and certainly not anyone from the team. I wasn't thinking about the future at all. The only thing that mattered was Koshian and earning our right to be there. If I had stepped out of my shell and confided in someone, maybe my career would have gone differently. Actually, I knew about your shoulder. They were trying to hide it. What? Never told anyone, though. Because I knew how you felt. If I had an injury, I would have kept it a secret, too. We all felt the same way. Back then, getting to Koshian was everything. No one thought about what might happen next. I guess a batter like you would have noticed something was off with my throwing. I get it now. I finally understand why you challenged Akamatsu. Oh? We went into extra innings with the score nodded. We were afraid my damaged shoulder would give out. That's what made you take that swing, so I wouldn't have to pitch anymore. Knowing full well you'd take the blame if you blew it. Honest to goodness, that's a little too far back for me. Can't remember what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, no need to thank you then. Boy, am I glad I stopped myself in time. Come on, what's with the attitude? It's not like a thank you costs anything. <laughs> Isn't it a bit late to drop the act? 
So, Shirakawa, what are you gonna do now? I'm going back to Tokyo. Took all this time off, and the guys at the office are probably swamped with work. You know, it feels like a huge weight has been lifted from my shoulders. For the first time, I can finally wake up in the morning with a renewed sense of purpose. That's great to hear. You take care, okay? Yeah, sorry for being such an asshole, Shinata. One more thing, but thanks. For what? Everything. All of it. I really owe you one. <laughs> Try to stay in character, you. Mystery stuff. Let's save before we do.